so after I dropped Melissa off for school, I came back home to upload Vlogmas from yesterday. And it's a bit earlier than we usually do it, but I'm not sure what time we are going to be back tonight because we are going to see Greg and he lives all the way out in Surprise, which is almost an hour drive from us. So I thought I'd better upload it now instead of just not uploading it because it's going to be too late. And then also I wanted to see if our UPS package had come and it hasn't. We're waiting for our camera. It's supposed to arrive today, a day early, which is nice. And there was actually a UPS truck just two streets, <clears throat> excuse me, south of my street. And they had two UPS workers dropping off packages at two different houses. And I'm like, hey, my house is just two streets north of where you are right now. Is there a package for me? And so I thought they would like loop around and come down my street. So I've been waiting as long as I possibly can to leave to go pick up Melissa and they haven't arrived, they haven't come yet. So I guess we'll have to wait until we get home tonight to see our new camera. Hopefully they like hide it somewhere and nobody takes it because I don't have to sign for it. So we are on our way home from visiting Greg at the hospital and he is surprisingly doing much better than we had thought. We were really worried about him and he said, thank you for all of your well wishes. And he's like, also, when am I going to be on uh, the videos? Because I've asked you guys numerous times. So he's still got his jokes. We're driving home right now. I'm freezing because the hospital was so cold and of course I did not take my jacket in with me because I was hot beforehand so I'm also hungry because the cafeteria cafe at the hospital was horrible and probably the worst cafeteria at a hospital that I've ever seen and usually I will say that some hospital cafeterias aren't that bad but this one was it was pretty sad up in there so I got like a cheese stick and a bag of chips and Stephanie got some pita chips, but that was about it. So we are on our way home now. Got a uh, punk right here in the driver's seat. Punk in the in the driver's seat, trying to get home to see if our camera is there because it's I'm supposed so, to have arrived. I'm so hungry, but I'm like, f that! I want to see if their camera's there. So we're gonna see if the camera's there. So we just got home. This it just does. got delivered. Oh, it came with a, um, a 16, 16 gig, gig which is nice. Card. Here's the camera. Out of the box. Out of the waiting box. waiting forever for this thing. Ooh, looks good. Looks very nice. Very nice. Very nice. As you can see, it has the flip out screen which is really cool so now i can see when i'm filming myself instead of just filming everything nice. and then realizing that i'm not filming myself at all that cat doe <laughs> cutie so i had to show you guys the thumbnail up close for vlogmas day eight because stephanie and i are always coming up with different ideas for the thumbnails because we like to have fun with them and she asked me what I thought she should do and I said I wasn't sure and so she came up with this idea and then she showed me and she's like, I don't know if you're gonna like it and I was literally dying, dying of laughter. My stomach hurt so bad after she showed this to me because it was too hilarious. Like, first of all, my face looks just, it's too funny but then the part that kills me is like, I was like, how did you get your face green? Like, it's just, it's too perfect. It's hilarious. I was on the ground laughing. I was crying and she was like, okay, I can't tell if you like it or not. But I told her this is the best thing you've ever made. Like, this is the most perfect thumbnail ever. So uh, I'm trying out the new camera right now. It, it actually is pretty nice and um, Punky wanted to get something to eat, but I'm just gonna make something at home because I don't feel like eating out. And so, uh, Punky wanted to get, I, we always do the same thing too, where she was like, give me some options. So I name every single restaurant that is around our house, even ones that are probably a bit of a drive. And she decided either between Chipotle, Chipotle, 
or smash burger and they both happen to be right next to each other so i told her i don't care get whatever you want because i'm not gonna I still haven't fully decided yet like i think i'm going to get smash burger just because i really like their smash fries too but Chipotle. I, I said to say words incorrectly Chipotle. because you always say them incorrectly. All. Just so that you guys know, she intentionally say like says words wrong. She doesn't say them wrong because, because she doesn't I don't know how not to pronounce, pronounce them. them. She intentionally says them wrong. So there are people that are like Melissa. Why do you say that word? Why wrong? do you say tomato? Like, why she do you say says these words wrong? I don't know why. Don't don't ask me why because I have no idea. But she does. So she knows how to say them correctly. Yogurt. So like, I'll start saying Chipotle. 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 So I just decided to wait in the car while Stephanie goes in and orders her chicken sandwich. It's like a burger place, but she gets a chicken sandwich. And then we're going to go home and watch the Pretty Little Liars holiday special, which I'm really excited for. And you guys are probably thinking, aren't you a little bit old for that? But I read some of the books until they started getting way too far-fetched. And then I started watching the series when it first started. So I've been watching for like, what, four years now? I'm dedicated. I'm in too deep. I have to keep watching this through. And I actually read on Teen Vogue yesterday they said that this upcoming season is going to be like one of the darkest seasons thus far so that should be pretty cool uh they didn't do like a really good halloween special i didn't even watch it so i'm really excited for this christmas special so hopefully that will be good stephanie wants to take a moment to address something so i know you guys are concerned with my soda ism i get that i have been to the doctor i am in good health I mean, mentally I'm not all the way there all the time, but for the most part I'm healthy and I do know I consume a lot of soda, but to be honest, the amount of soda that I drink now is far less than the amount of soda I was drinking in the past. And something I don't think you guys see um, ever in these vlogs is me drinking water. So I know <laughs> she does drink I water. I do drink water and I do drink a lot of tea. And so every time I drink a soda, that amount of soda I drink, I try to then drink the same amount of water to kind of flush it out of my system. I know that it's still going through my veins and into my blood and whatever, but you guys don't need to really be concerned. I've gone, I, I used to have like chest pains and my doctor said it was because of the amount of dark soda I was drinking so I I don't drink as much as I feel like you think I do because the, our days are like squished into like 10 to 15 minutes and so every time that I'm drinking a soda it's somehow and it's like every minute of the like video every minute of the video there's a soda in the screen but no really there's you guys don't have to be worried I really thank you for you know the support and worrying but really there's nothing there's nothing to worry about how's your dinner so good what'd you get an avocado club smashed chicken on wheat bread because i'm watching my calories <laughs> and smash fries which are rosemary and garlic and they're like these uh matchstick size so they're so good i love these and it's on! Yes! Slay! All right, guys, so I'm signing off for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog for the day. We'll be back tomorrow with a new vlog. It's weird because I'm looking at, at the viewfinder thing instead of the lens. So, um, Melissa over here has fallen asleep. So I'm saying goodnight for the both of us, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye!